All right, I have here a large refraction tank with water. There's a tiny bit of scatter liquid in it so that when the refracted beam goes through the water, you can see its path. I have a light source here, a white light source, and I can change its angle of incidence with the water by moving this arm. The arm is counterbalanced, so I can move it to a position and release it with my arm, it will stay there. I'm gonna now turn on the light source, and I'm gonna shut off the room lights. Uh, and one more thing I want to say before I shut off the room lights. For all this demonstration, I'm going to take a polarizing film and I'm going to rotate it in the path of the reflected beam. So let me shut off the room lights now. Here we are in the dark. And there's the reflected beam coming down off the water and then striking this diffusion screen up there and that's away from the Brewster angle. So I'm gonna take this polarizer and rotate it. And when I rotate it, I cannot extinguish that spot of light up there because it's not completely polarized. But if I change the angle of incidence with the water, so now it's at the Brewster angle for water. And now it's maximally polarized. So now I can insert the polarizer and rotate it and I can extinguish that spot and rotate it back parallel. So I have to be at this Brewster angle to have maximum polarization.